In this video, we're going to create a form that we will embed on our website. So, to create a form, you have to use your Google Drive. All right, so you're going to go to Google and go to where it says Drive. And you're going to go to where it says Create, and you're going to create a form. All right, under Form, we're going to do just a blank one, which is the default, and we're going to call this form Dashboard Form. Okay, so blank one, and it's going to be the Dashboard Form. All right, so we've created the form, and now we have to put our questions on the form. And I have a list. The first thing you need to do is put in the last name, okay, and it's not going to be a multiple choice, it's going to be a text for people's last name, and it's going to be required. And then we're going to add an item, we're going to put in first, first name, and that's going to be text and required. And then we're going to add one for grade. And that's a text. Okay, or for grade, you could also put in a multiple choice. So why don't we do multiple choice because I asked you to use some of these different ones. So this would be a good um, option for multiple choice. So I changed this to multiple choice and I can put the first option. Option one could be A. Okay, the next option could be here would be B. Next one, C. D, R, F. All right, so that is a multiple choice for grade. That's done. Now, if I make a mistake and I want to go back and change something, You'll notice there's a little edit right here. I can do it there. Or I can duplicate or just delete it and start over again. Okay, I'm going to add a comment box. Okay, this one we're going to do paragraph text. So it'll give you a little more space to put more in it. And then the last one you had to do, well, you had to also do a question that somebody could answer by listening to your video or looking at your PDF. So um, I could put in a question like, you know, what were the sales for the top three salesmen, if that's one of my charts, or um, what was the, what direction was the trend analysis, was it sales going up or down? So any question that you can answer by looking at your video or your PDF, and again, you can change it, do like a checkbox, or something, or choose from a list, you could do those kinds of um, options as well. All right, so I'm just going to put in this one, question, okay, and I'll make it a um, checkbox, and I'm going to have it a yes or no option, and then I'm going to hit done. All right, so let's say I'm finished now with my form, and now I want to embed this, and I also want to share my spreadsheet with Dr. Mattia. So while I'm here on my form, you'll see it says choose response destination. So I want you to click on that, and you're going to put the responses into a spreadsheet automatically into a new one by default, okay, and that's what you want. So just hit create. All right, so that is going to automatically put that into a spreadsheet that we'll see in just a minute. All right, right now we're still in the form itself, as you can see right here. All right, so we're going to go ahead. We're going to close this form down for a second. All right, and so now if you go in here again, and I'm going to go to my drive because that's where that will be, and you'll see right here 
um, I have a number of them because I've done other ones before. But here's my dashboard form and the dashboard responses that I just created. All right, so if I want to go back to one of them, I can. And this is the spreadsheet that you need to share with me so that I can see the answers in there. Okay, so this is the spreadsheet, and you want to click on Share. Okay, and you'll notice right now it just says it's private right there, but you can invite other people. So you're going to put in my email address. Okay, and which is amatia at ju.edu. Make sure that I can, can edit, and you're going to say share and save. And this is going to add me to the spreadsheet so that I would be able to view it as well. All right, now I'm going to close this and go back to the form. You should always test your form and make sure it works. So I'm going to test it, and that I don't be there. So I'm going to actually, and I've got the form in there. So now I want to view that form so that I can actually test and make sure that everything is um, working in there okay. And then what that's going to allow me to do is insert this. I'm going to insert it into this form into my da um, dashboard website, and then. I'll be able to test it that way. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and close this for now. Go back to my website. I'm going to add a web page to the website called Dashboard. Okay, and I'm going to call it Dashboard Data. And I'm going to create this page. All right, so I have dashboard data page, and now I'm going to insert that form. So I'm going over here to insert, and then you're going to go down, and you're going to find your drive, and you're going to insert a form. And so I'm going to insert this dashboard form that I just created. Okay, and I'm going to save it, and I now have that form embedded, okay, and I'm going to call that Dashboard Data Collection, and hit Save. All right, now I have my form ready to collect data, and I can test it, so I'm going to put in my information. Actually, this is the test, and now, and then submit. All right, so now I can go back to my drive, and I'm going to open up the responses and check and make sure everything worked correctly, and it did. So I now have completed my data collection form. I embedded it onto my website and I shared it with Dr. Matias.